Uh, Assalamu alaikum, I'm Professor Dr. Zebunisa Hussain. I'm foreign faculty professor within the Institute of Chemistry, University of the Punjab. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, advantages for MSc students who want to study chemistry within the Institute. I'll be telling you about the criteria options and uh, other characteristics which you need to actually move forward in the chemical field. Job students go home, uh, get the apply garnicadia, and normally what we look at when we want to do the merit side of this, we have their BSc total marks, we have the subject marks, which means how many marks they actually got during their BSc in chemistry. We have one fifth of their metric marks and we have one quarter of their FSC marks. This becomes a total percentage and uh, we have a cutoff line at the merit point. Any student who is on the merit or above the merit, they are given admission into the MSc course. Apply Karnika time, usually for PU it is September and this is usually after the BSc result. But uh, I know in some universities they can also take it in January. This is depending on whether they have double admission um, for our MPhil course, we have double admission in PU, but for MSc course, we only take applications in September. Students who apply for MSc level, one of their exposure to the BS level, or yeah, BSc uh, as you wish. But um, when the students come for master's course, and I, I notice this from my own students when I'm teaching them, they need to have a mindset. They need to be firm and they need to be focused in what they are going to do. They should be able to see that they are going to become maybe one day a leading scientist in Pakistan. And they need to have that attitude that they can actually move forward with this kind of thinking. Chemistry has scope very much, especially in the international market, because there are many multinational companies in Pakistan who are liaising with their counterparts in the either the US or the UK is, is a very open forum for them. And I know of many students who are actually taken on in multinational companies in Pakistan. They are then transferred to maybe a European company or even to the US, which is a very good exposure technique. Future scope of uh, chemistry, it's excellent. It's very, very, very good because normally the students that we have, they can go into several different fields. They can go into teaching, they can go into entrepreneurship, they can open up their own companies, they can have their own um, industrial plants, what, whatever they want to do. It's, it's that subject which is actually involved in everything. Every subject has a bit of chemistry in it. So these students can have several different opportunities wherever they want to go. This really depends on the student, uh, how determined the student is to really make a go of their life. Um, the day that they start here, they are actually exposed to different opportunities, they are given different knowledge, they have, they have come with a background but they are actually developing on that background. And what I would suggest to the students is that from the day that you start your course, you should actually go, you should go and see what's available in the market for you because sometimes what happens is you can do chemistry but you don't know exactly what the application of this is. You have to be theoretical but you have to be practical and realistic at the same time. Students have a lot of options. There are several scholarships to help them for higher education. They can go for um, PGDs, which are postgraduate diplomas, they can go for PhDs, they can go for MPhils. And you know, when they go for these kind of higher learning degrees, there are so many opportunities which will be available when they're out of the country. And this the student needs to explore themselves. What I would suggest is that students should always try and attend training sessions. Um, I, I'm very much in favour of these training sessions because they actually help a student to develop not only their character, they help them to develop their personality, they help them to develop their communication skills, their presentation skills, which is something not always taught at academic level. And these kind of um, characteristics, you may say, this image that a student can portray during an interview will be something very exceptional. Major jo uh, hamare uh, we are offering is um, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry. These are the three core major subjects of chemistry. 
In addition to this, we have three sub subjects of these particular uh, major courses. We have analytical chemistry, we have biochemistry, and we have applied chemistry. Specialization is this what I have just mentioned is biochemistry, analytical, and the applied chemistry. But these are in the subsections. You can also have specialization in the major courses as well. Duration of the whole course is two years for MSc, and for MPhil it's also two years. And I think that gives the student enough time and exposure to decide what they want to do in the future. I hope after this interview, any student who wants to study chemistry will know the benefits of this particular subject and how they can move forward in their life using an MSc in chemistry.